Welcome City News DACA English Bulletin. One hundred and thirty two people died from COVID-19 in 24 hours till 8 a.m. today, said a press release issued by the Director of General of Health Services. The total number of COVID-19 deaths in the country now stands at 14,778 and the death rate stands at 1.59 percent. At least 8,483 new infections were recorded during the period, taking the total number of people infected to 930,042, added the release. The all-out lockdown, coupled with rainfall, helped keep Takaites indoors on Friday. The empty streets of the capital on the second day of the shutdown can also be attributed to the efforts of law enforcement agencies in convincing people to stay home in the weekly government holiday. On the second day of the week-long strict lockdown, 320 people were arrested for violating restrictions in the capital. In addition, 208 people were fined by the mobile courts, said additional Deputy Commissioner Iftkarul Islam. Besides, the traffic police fined 68 vehicles over DK 1.19 lock for violation of the traffic restrictions. The highly contagious Delta variant of the coronavirus is surging through Asia this week, with record numbers of infections in Australia and South Korea, prompting some countries to tighten curbs and others to hasten vaccination. After nearly 20 years, the U.S. military left Bagram Airfield, the epicenter of its war to oust the Taliban and hunt down the Al-Qaeda perpetrators of the 9-11 terrorist attacks on America, two U.S. officials said Friday. The airfield was handed over to the Afghan National Security and Defense Force in its entirety. They said on condition they not be identified because they were not authorized to release the information to the media. Germany midfielder Toni Kroos has announced his retirement from international football after his team's exit from the European Championship, the 31-year-old said on Instagram. Kroos' announcement comes three days after Germany were beaten 2-0 by England in the last 16 of Euro 2020 at Wembley. That's all for now. 